What's going on guys, modern day muscle from Free Smoke. Make sure you go and check out freesmokeofficial.com where you can get your Free Smoke apparel. We're covering all bodies from small to 5X. Make sure you come and check it out. Again, that is freesmokeofficial.com. Go and get your apparel. What is going on y'all? Welcome back to another video. I am your boy Fat Cat. We got the Rally Rails in the building. If you don't know, you're watching Free Smoke Home. The news for the culture. Now, before we get into the video, as you guys just seen the commercial, freesmokeofficial.com. Go get your merchandise, go get your shirts, go get your hoodies, go get your sweatpants, uh, uh, all kind of different sizes, colors available, man, for everyone out there, man. So make sure you guys go check that out. Again, freesmokeofficial.com. Before we actually another thing before we get into the video, hope everyone had a great uh, uh Thanksgiving yesterday, man. I know some of you guys are probably still, you know, with that with that itis that, that and that yeah. cocoa toast. You yeah. know what I'm saying? The next day, or or maybe you guys are eating leftovers today, man. You, you know, the best part about Thanksgiving is the leftovers. You know what I'm saying? Uh, um, the next day, man. So, uh, but yeah, man. So hopefully everybody had a great, great, great Thanksgiving. Um, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 one more time for myself, man. You know, I am uh, another year older, man. One more lap around the sun. You know, what I'm saying? Yes, it was yesterday as well, man. Uh, uh on Thanksgiving, every. Every six or well, seven years, I guess, you know, say my birthday lands on Thanksgiving, and that was this year, right here, you know, what I'm saying 2021. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into it, man. Um, we had some unfortunate news to share with you guys, man. Um, um, for this first one, um, um, you know, we thought it might have been some significant here, man, because of, of who, you know, what I'm saying mm -hmm. of, of the lineage of mm -hmm. this particular person, man. And if y'all don't know, man, we're talking about Malika Shabazz, man. Now, if you guys don't know who Malika Shabazz is, this is literally Malcolm X's daughter. Um, unfortunately, um, uh, uh, well, about two days ago now, she was found unresponsive in her apartment, uh, um, you know, uh, deceased. Um, significant, again, because this is literally Malcolm X's daughter. Now, uh, before I pass it over to Rails, again, significant because, um, you know, the people that, that uh, you know, was charged uh, for, for you know, the, the, the murder of her father were just exonerated not too long ago. Uh, like, literally, like, within a matter, I think it was uh, maybe a couple of days, you know what I'm saying? to her being uh found on you know uh deceased in her apartment and also on top of that she was reopening i think she was started digging into the case a little bit or at least trying to and trying to you know reopen uh uh you know some of those events and things like that basically her father's case so i'm not a conspiracy theorist man but there's a lot of people out there that are kind of like you know there's a lot of things that kind of happen in coincidence you know what I'm saying her digging into you know her father's case and trying to reopen everything and then you know those people that you know that they uh that got convicted and got exonerated not too long ago you know what I'm saying or, or you know a couple of days before this and then like I said now uh two days ago um she basically you know she was found unresponsive uh in her uh apartment you know what I'm saying deceased bro right. what is, what, 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 I mean it's a lot to, that's a lot to unpack man what, what, uh, what, what do you say about all that that's a whole lot to unpack man uh first and foremost you know uh rest in peace to Malika Shabazz um yes, like sir. I said yes. uh daughter of uh the iconic uh Malcolm X 
um, you know, when you start to, you know, see these things that, that start to kind of almost tie themselves together. Um, like you said, the, uh, the guys that were originally charged, they ended up, you know, getting exonerated. And then she was about to start opening up um, her father's case, man. Um, for the the avid conspiracy theorists, you got a home run right here. You know, um, you're, you, you have tied everything together. Um, it's, it's uh, like I said, it's just a sad situation, unfortunately, man, because, you know, I think a lot of people want to really know. You know what happened because if, if someone gets exonerated then somebody has to take the take the weight on that you know what i mean like okay well if they didn't do it who did it you know and she like i said she was trying to you know get into finding out what's going on um unfortunately um you know with you know her passing you know that's not going to happen from her end um so we don't know um further down the lineage whoever who else might be able to um, open this thing up and, and continue to, you know, push what she was doing. So um, it's, it's, it's weird, bro. Like when stuff happened like that, man, like you, you, you kind of don't want to be a conspiracy theorist, but it's right. like, man, we giving you uh, all of these links in the chain. All you can do is put them together, man. So um, it's going to be interesting to find out in full detail when they come out, uh, you know, what happened to her. Um, they say they didn't expect any foul play or anything like that, you know, but, you know, that's, I think that's always the first notion unless of course somebody was shot or something like that, you know, so I'm pretty sure they're going to go through, uh, you know, what they do, you know, autopsies and stuff like that to find out what was the actual cause of death. So, you know, um, could be just, you know, natural causes. You never know nowadays, man. So um, we're going to see, but, you know, just, you know, peace and blessings to a family, man, uh, and, and everybody, you know, all of the love and stuff like that. So um, I'm going to definitely stay in tune to see what's going to happen, man. And hopefully, you know, somebody picks up the ball and what she was about to do, man, to, uh, continue to find out, uh, you know, what ultimately happened to a father, Michael Max, man. Uh, yeah, like I said, I 100% agree. First of all, uh, uh, yes, man, condolences and obviously rest in peace uh, uh, to her, you know what I'm saying, and obviously condolences to the family. Um, but yeah, man, like I said, I'm not much of a conspiracy theorist myself, but like I said, mm -hmm. there's just a lot of things that happen kind of kind of in succession. It was just like, okay, and, 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 then, and then, you know, early, early reports, again, are saying, um, you know, no foul play, like you said. Mm -hmm. you know seems like it was natural causes with again people are like well what does that mean because it wasn't like she was like you know some 90 year old person exactly. you know what I'm saying? so like what, what what exactly does that mean now granted you know you know there could be any kind of health ailments at any mm -hmm. time but you know at the end of the day people are like what does that mean you know what i'm saying so yeah. you gotta get you gotta give us more than that you know Absolutely. Saying, natural causes so hey we'll see what happens man like i said we'll, we'll definitely keep our ear to the ground and like i said as we hear more things we'll mm -hmm. definitely uh, put it out here for you guys man but um the main thing here is at the end of the day man you know what I'm saying I, and, and obviously an iconic person um um you know during the civil rights movement and everything else um uh, man Malcolm X uh like I said his his daughter um you know again Malika Shabazz um uh unfortunately found uh unresponsive and deceased in her apartment a um, couple of days ago, man. So we just wanted to bring that up, man, and say rest in peace and obviously uh, give respects to the family and condolences as well. You know what I'm saying? But with that being said, uh, we, we, we got to move on to some other, I guess, unfortunate news, you know what I'm saying, for all y'all uh, 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 stands out there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that uh, uh, <laughs> I, I always like to I, I always like to pick on, on the stands of, yeah. of, this particular, of this particular person because of uh, you know, they're, they're, they're all like, uh, 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 unfortunately, they're all like nomads. Like, they don't got a home. You know what I'm mm. saying? Like, they, 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 they move around, you know what I'm saying? Wherever this person goes, they go. Yeah. And, and I feel bad. I feel bad because they, they, they don't got no roots set anywhere, man. They got to just bounce around and, you know, buy different, buy different uh, uh, jerseys. jerseys every other <laughs> year, every other year. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, uh, we talking about LeBron James, man. LeBron James. Just the other day, a couple of days ago, if you guys don't follow sports, man, this was all over the place, man, because, you know, LeBron James has been uh, suspended, mm -hmm. you know, uh, 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 well, he was ejected, mm -hmm. subsequently fined and suspended for an altercation that he had on the court um, not too long ago, man, with, uh, uh, um, 
what's his name again? Isaiah, right? Isaiah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um I, what was his last name? I forget, um, I forget the player's name. Jeez. I, I just have him on the top of my phone. Um you know what? I can find it for y'all right now. I'm sorry. Uh um Isaiah Stewart. Isaiah yeah, Stewart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isaiah Stewart. Apologize that for that, brother. If you're watching this, but Isaiah Stewart, man, you know, young, young, up and coming uh, uh uh person in the league in the NBA. Obviously, LeBron James is LeBron James. And they had a little altercation, man. You know what I'm saying? LeBron James, as you guys can see right there in his eye, you know, LeBron James kind of, kind of, you know, jabbed him in the, <laughs> in the eye. Uh, you know uh, what I'm saying? <laughs> and, and uh, uh, you know, as you guys can see, man, drew a little bit of blood. And, um, you know, Isaiah Stork kind of went, kind of went a little bonkers, to be honest, and was trying to get at LeBron James. But, of course, man, the league, the league and the teammates and everybody else is not going to have none of that. You know mm -hmm. so Ain't nobody touching LeBron on the court. Not, not why they can have it or, or help it. But anyway, point is, man, hey, like I said, this is, I think, the first time, it was the second time in his career that he's ever gotten ejected from the game. And mind you, like I said, LeBron's been in the league, what has it been, 18 years now? Since nah, year? year 19. 19? Is it 19 year? Wow. So, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, so think about that, man. Um, you know, 18, 19, even, you know, that's a long time for, you know, someone to never be ejected. Like I said, this is the second time ever in his career that he was ejected. And um, first time ever in his career that he was suspended. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Now, 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 the Ruddy Rails, if you guys don't know, is <laughs> one of those one of those stands that I was just talking about. You know what I'm saying? So I, I definitely want to hear Rails' perspective, man, on, on this whole incident. What do, what, what do you say about this, Rails? Hey, man. Uh, you know, first, man, uh, to the to the LeBron haters out there. Um, <laughs> You know, they're trying to make him into this uh, Neanderthal bully type, blah, blah, blah. But like you mentioned before, this is the first time anything like that has happened in 19 years. You know, they're trying to portray him like a Ron Artest or, or something like that, you know, because you know what people try to do, try to generate a story of the Malice in the Palace part two, you know, um, when the first went down, but that wasn't this. So, of course, they were at the foul line. And they were jockeying for position when the shot went up. And from what I saw, I think old buddy had a hold on LeBron arm. And instead of LeBron just letting him keep a hold of him, he, he snatched it out. You know what I'm saying? And and along with that came the fist and, you know, the elbow, whatever hit him across the top of the eye. Cause now, we know this part right here is sensitive. You know what I mean? That's why boxes are always split right there, you know? When when they box it, you know, so if a if a hand, uh, uh, elbow, or whatever hits you up there, you are gonna start leaking. You know, it, it, it's almost automatic, man, because you got that brow bone right there. You know, um, do I think it was a dirty play? Yes, it was a dirty play, but LeBron is not a dirty person. You know, and two things can't be true at the same time, man. Um, Skip Bayless, man, that, that dude, bro, like, I knew he was, like, he is the biggest, he's the head of the LeBron hater club, right? So, you know, he said, yeah, LeBron turned around, looked at him, closed his fist and elbowed him. And I'm like, come on, bro, like, you can't do all that in that amount of time, you know what I mean? So, so like I said, um, I think the ejection was warranted. Um, but what happened was Stewart took it to another level. Because um, LeBron went to check on him, like, hey, bro, my bad, I ain't mean to do that. You know what I'm saying? And then I think once he found out that he was leaking is when he decided to turn up a notch. Um, because they were face-to-face -face for a couple seconds, you know what I mean, after it happened. So this is, this is me, bro. Like, from the cloth that I'm made from, bro, if you're upset about somebody hitting you in the face, it's it goes down right then. Especially if y'all like this far apart you know now you got some people that wait till some people start holding them back to try to want to you know what i'm saying get at you you know so and to me that's what i saw you know Stuart had some people that were trying to hold him back so he kind of created this big scene and and stuff like that man and they were taking them out I, this is my thing i'm like bro you need to go to go to the back because you're probably about to go in the shop with all that blood you, you you're losing out your face you know? um so then i guess he uh they were they got him back to the tunnel and then he tried to beeline to come around to the uh to the lakers bench and it was funny because Melo was standing over there and the ref uh told Melo like hey 
Because Melo, he, he, he may be coming back through here. Melo's like, he ain't coming through here. <laughs> He's he not going to come through here, you know what I'm saying? So I'm glad that uh, LeBron has people like Melo, Westbrook, and even AD when it comes to stuff like this, man. Because just watching them guys, man, they had the homie back, man, at the end of the day. And you know what? Bro, I think we might could be the, the 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 new version of the Detroit Bad Boys, man. Because you know we we starting off uh, pretty physical this year. Granted, we're losing more games than I wish we did, bro. But um, <laughs> we'll, we'll see what happened with that. But um, LeBron did try to reach out um, and get his number from what uh, Sham reported. Um, but uh, I guess it was no success because he would reach out, apologize to him, and so forth and so on. So now. Um, uh, Isaiah has to understand who LeBron is in this league, too. So, you know, it might be your best bet to just accept the apology in public. You ain't got to, you know, really. But if you want to stay in the league and, and, and stuff like that, like LeBron got he can put his finger on the scale in certain situations in this league, man. So um, I would me personally, I would accept it and move on. Things happen, man, you know by accident or on purpose, you know, at the end of the day, man. But uh, I wouldn't be out here, you know, trying to, you know, you, you'll be trying to oh, take, yeah, take oh, the head off. On it. Yeah, yeah, uh, on the face of the league, man. So that's just my opinion from a Lakers fan, a LeBron fan. Uh, uh, yeah, a LeBron's fan, really. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> next, 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 year, next year, if he's on Detroit, all of a sudden he's a Detroit fan. Yeah, what did you see, my brother? Uh, <laughs> um, you know, it, it's funny, man, because, uh, you know, look, the, it, it's so funny because the, you can tell there's a very, you know, watching this from all the different sports, sports mm -hmm. shows and cash sports casters and everything else. And mm -hmm. even talking to friends, you know what I'm saying? Even mm -hmm. talking to, you know, even talking to Rose right now, mm -hmm. like it, it, there's a very distinct difference on the people that are LeBron fans mm -hmm. and then the ones that are like, you know, LeBron haters mm -hmm. that you know, and, and the reason why most people, most people that are LeBron haters is because they're really big Michael Jordan fans. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they don't like that whole, you know, goat talk between who's who. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, they, they, they're, they're very big on Michael Jordan is the goat. Mm -hmm. But anyway, but there's a very distinct line, man, on the, pers it's so crazy, the perspective, man. Like, yeah. everybody could be watching the same exact thing. See, it it's, so funny, it's so funny. It's so funny, the perspective on you know what you're biased towards mm -hmm. and like i said it's a very distinct difference between those people that are the fans they're seeing it one way and then the people that are not fans they see it a whole different way now what i see is i do see lebron um i don't think it was an accident brother i don't um oh, i didn't say it was an accident <laughs> no, no 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 right 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 no but yeah. you're saying like you know he was just trying to pull his hand away no i really think he meant to mm -hmm. I, I don't know if he meant to hit him in the eye but mm -hmm. I do think he meant to like swing and like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Kind of like maybe get him in the shoulder or the chest exactly. or something like that. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know if he, I, I don't think he meant to get him in the face, mm -hmm. but I do think he meant to, you know, put it on him a little bit. Like, hey, young brother, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know who I am? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, get your, get your, get, 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 hey. get your paws off of me. Bro, you know I'm, I'm totally with you. It totally in agrees with, with that. Like, like you said, I think LeBron thought that he was, uh, that he catch him across the chest or something like that. Now, you know, when it when it comes to just say back in the day in school, it, when somebody would hit somebody and the other person would hit back, you would never see the first person through the first leap, but the second person always gets caught. You know what I mean? So right. I think maybe it could have been something going on early in the game with those guys as yeah, well, you know. That's um true. but like you said, that's true. I don't think it was an accident. I think the accident was where he hit him at. That's what I think the accident yeah. was. Yeah, yeah. So I, I I do agree with that. I do agree with that notion, man. Um, but I also do agree with you, man. Like, um, you know, uh, Isaiah, man. Like, bro, um, you know, you went from having a legitimate argument to mm. not now you just made yourself look like yeah. like a clown. You know what I'm saying? Because, bro, you're in a professional bath. It's not like you're in like I said, you're not like schoolyard. You're you know what I'm saying? Whatever at the gym, you know, like at, at, at the at the actual, you know what I'm saying, like the Y or whatever it is that you ball at, yeah. you know what I'm saying, on the court, somewhere on the on, on a regular like court, you know what I'm saying, the outside park or whatever. You're in a prof you're in up you're a NBA player, you're in a professional basketball game. Now, all that message you're sending around the league is and to league officials and 
to the owners of you know of, of, of all of these you know to these franchises and everything else all that sending the message is you are uncontrollable you know that's it you you are you are someone that when you see red literally you know what i'm saying that's it there's no control of you man you are you are uh, a, a a beast on the loose you know what i'm saying and and that could potentially you know set off something crazy Again, not to the palace. It could be anywhere, whatever the case. And like I said, it's it's a bad look for the league. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, the yeah. commissioner, everybody's going to keep. You know what I'm saying? Now everybody's going to be like, what's what's going to be the next thing that sets this guy off that's going to cause a a big commotion? And then, like I said, not everybody is LeBron James, right? Not everybody's going to have that safety net about LeBron James. So let's say it is like around, you know, so just another another player. Let's say on. I don't know on 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 Sacramento, right? On whatever, just like a normal player, like and and, and you know, hey, look, we're Sacramento. You guys are Detroit. Ain't none of us got really any right, real, real, real big superstars. So we all out here hungry, trying to eat. So now, now you got fifteen guys, yeah, or thirty guys, really. You know, say brawling on the court. They exactly. can't have that. No. All because you went crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All because you went crazy. Now you got you know. 30 grown ass big ass dudes on the court bro like they, and that's they, why they, he ended up getting two games vice lebron getting one game you know because right. you know if if he wouldn't have started all the extra stuff it would have ended would have LeBron would have got quick. ejected he wouldn't even have gotten ejected and he right. wouldn't even have gotten suspended you know so uh he went to a and, whole nother level and, and, and then again, and then at the press conference, and because now nobody, nobody really want to hear it. They didn't even, like we haven't even heard from him. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. he's been, nope. man, whatever, man. We we, we already, we, like, we already see what your reaction was. But if he would have just kept this cool and everything else, man, right after the game, man, it would have got his perspective. The yeah. press conference, you know, he could have said everything he wanted to off his chest, like, hey, you know, what I'm saying, I, I, I don't I, look, man, I, I, I don't respect that. You know, what I'm saying, I felt like he did it maliciously. Yeah. Da 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 da. You know, so he could have really got all of that stuff off his chest right there at the press conference, which would have been, I think, more effective. Absolutely. To be like, you know, he and he could have he could have pleaded his case basically to be like, look, man, you know, for somebody for somebody of that caliber, you know, in the league right now, this and that and third, you know, what I'm saying, uh, uh, you know, essentially the face of the league, for him to pull something off, or or you know, to pull something off like that, you know, I I totally feel like that was uncalled for. I felt disrespected. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, uh it was unnecessary. Like, why? Because I'm I'm a young guy in the league, so so what what message is he sending to everyone? You know what I'm saying? And, you know, he could have said all all these things. Absolutely. That, that people fact. really could have been like people really could have been like, yo, it's true, LeBron. Like, why, like, why, why, why did you go that route? You know what I'm saying? Because he's Absolutely. a young up and comer versus your LeBron James, and you feel like you could just do whatever you want, you know, whatever it is, man. But he could have really pleaded his case and really shed some light on how he really felt about it versus, oh, man, you're just a thug now because, you know, yeah, yeah you got, you, we, we see you got hit and we, we we acknowledge that, but now your reaction was basically you're, you're in the street you somewhere lose now. Yeah, yeah, you're in the street somewhere now. You're just trying to get back at, you know, you're just trying to get back at someone that got you in the face. And that's it. At the end of the day, you're in an NBA game. Yes, you're a man before anything else, but you're in an NBA game. You're making millions of dollars, bro. Like you gotta understand where you're at in the situation. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So I do agree with you. Um, um, yeah, that reaction was totally uncalled for. I but I, I do think that the you know, like you said, when people get in front of people, you know, I think that adrenaline and that everything started kicking in once they started separating them. Because it, like I said, they were face to face for a good two, three seconds. Yeah. Yeah, and nothing happened, and then once people started getting in the middle, I think that adrenaline kind of kicked in, and that switch hit. Like, wait, hold on, like this dude just hit me in my face. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then, and then, and then, you know, with people in between you, now you, uh, you know, what I'm saying, not, not, now you got every, all the other emotions going. So, but a- absolutely, but you know, I mean, you, you know, know, about the situation, bro. I mean, to cut you off, man. Um, I after I watched it, you know, the I watched LeBron and him during the interaction like three or four times. The, for about three, three or four more times of the video, I just watched everybody around, i.e. the yeah, Lakers players, 
what they were right. doing. And, hey, man, Russ squared up, man. Like, come over here with that best you want to. <laughs> hey, hey, AD was out there. Like I said, Melo cut the baseline off. Melo was like, he ain't coming through here. It, it's yeah, not going to happen. You know what I mean? So, um, hopefully, you know what I mean? You know, we, you know, the league could get past this. Um, and, um, you know, like you said, I wish he would have handled it better because he would have actually came out on the other side oh, of this. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then LeBron would have looked like the villain in this situation at the end of the day, you know. Um, he definitely got a lot more respect, you know what I'm saying? But oh, yeah. now, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 not, and not only from his peers, but again, from the, uh, uh, like I said, the powers that be in the NBA, the, the commissioner, the, the, yeah, the league in general, man, the commissioner, yeah. the, the owners, the officials, all of that, because... Yeah. Like I said, they would have respected him more that he was able to keep his composure. And then, like I said, be able to, once he could communicate that, like he communicated effectively with his words, like, because you know they would have they wanted to know what he, yeah. the, the cameras would have been all in his face. They would have been like, we need, we need you at the podium right after the game. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And, hey, uh, he needs to talk to Ron Artest, bro, and ask Ron Artest how hard was it was for him after the malice in the palace. And that's what I'm trying to say, man. So now it's going to be, uh, the, uh, all the officials, guess what? Oh like man! Mm-hmm. Every game they're gonna be all in. So every time he, every time he breathes on somebody, they're gonna be like, ah, foul. Yep. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, foul. Hey, yeah. if he, if he so much protests a little bit, like what tech? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like number two, like <laughs> <laughs> you out of here. Like, like they, they just they're gonna be, is they're gonna be on pins yeah. and needles around them. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Uh, Reggie, Reggie Miller, uh, uh. Another icon, obviously, in the NBA world. Um, he said that, you know, it was it might be a good thing because, you know, he kind of sent the message that, you know, he's kind of like the like the Oakleys and the uh and the Davis, you know, the Davis uh, uh boys and mm, you know what I'm saying, yeah. um, um things like that. Like now he's gonna be like that tough guy around the league. Uh yeah. I don't know, man, because uh, you know, th- this is a different era. This is a different yeah. era. You can't you know what I'm saying? You know, like back then yeah. they could fight in the game, bro. And literally right. end up finishing the game. Right. This you is a different saying? era, man. So this era right now, man, it's just it's not that type of era where you could be like that big bully and, no. and everybody be like, oh, okay, he's he just a hard like 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 the biggest bully in the game right now is is probably uh uh what's his face? Oh boy, out of Golden State. Why why am I forgetting? Oh, Draymond? Name? Draymond Green. Mm. You know, and he's not even really anything. He's just, nah. he, you know, he just does whatever. Yeah, but look. he's probably technically like the biggest "quote unquote" bully in the league right now, or at least yeah. you know, he got that reputation. But he, but he he only takes it to a certain extent. You know, what I'm saying because yeah. he know better. So like, there is no Charles Oakley in the league. There's no be. Anthony Mason in the league. You, you know, um, there is no Charles Barkley. In the league, Can't you know, be. at the end of the day, man. Um, and no, no Can't Detroit be. bad boys. Can't be. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Can't. There's no room for that in the, in the league. Nope. Anyway, man. Hey, that's what we got, man. What do y'all think in the dish, man? Let us know in the, in the comment section below, man. What do y'all think, man? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Was it deliberate? Was it not deliberate? Was it handled properly by, you know, Isaiah Stewart? Um, you know what I'm saying? Let us know what y'all think, man, in the comment section below, man. If you, if you don't know what I'm talking about, literally, just go to youtube man type in lebron james I, i'm sure if you type in lebron james i say isaiah store it will come That's up it. you know mm-hmm. it probably have about 50 videos come up on that man so <laughs> yeah for real but uh and and then come back here and let us know what y'all think about it you know what i'm saying um um uh, uh again lebron james lebron james like we just talked about yesterday with paul Hogan. even if you don't watch basketball you know who lebron james is you know what I'm saying? He's a household name um so you know what I'm saying? Uh, at the end of the day, you know that he's, everybody knows that he's the face of the NBA right now, uh, currently. Um, and and uh, like I said, what, what, what do you guys feel about that? With his status and his stature in the league, what do you guys feel about him being involved in that in that sort of altercation? You know what I'm saying? Um, but other than that, man, that's all we got for y'all today. Yo, Rails, what we got for announcements, brother? Hey, man, uh, April 9th, 2022, we got that next big showdown between Dunk Master and Demon It's going down. Those guys are going to go head to head again. Will it be Big Will versus Big Will? Will it be Big Will versus Small Will? We don't know. We'll find out. Um, also, uh, and if it's our, uh, what 
tech here, but also keep your ear to the street because we'll get the more the information on uh the next gap fest that's going to be going down um time place location date and all that stuff um and coming up this Sunday, man we got an epic epic live interview that's going to go down with the one and only sugar man on that yo um you don't want to miss this one 7 p.m eastern 6 p.m central 4 p.m pacific time um it's going down uh talking life uh his music his cars everything guys so you don't want to miss this interview um like i said this sunday sugar man on it will be live on free smoke yes sir man hey don't forget if you don't want to miss that it's easy man if you're not already subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell hit the all button on that notification bell so you catch all the post notifications um of course share 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 these videos man so you can get as many eyeballs as possible on these uh on these uh, uh, uh videos and then of course man we got the p.o box also in the description if you want to send us anything you know what I'm saying shirts merchandise whatever gifts we will open them up here for you on the show and then of course we will shout you guys out all right other than that that's all we got for y'all today yo bless up to everyone out there big time salute and shout out to the free smoke squad you don't know y'all watching free smoke and we do this for the culture we out of here later <laughs>